ピース行くぞ Momo no Suke, the prophecy child, and the ghosts of Wano. Hi everyone, Flying Panda. The ghosts of Wano will be in your minds in the next few chapters, and the easy answer would be that they're like an organization like the revolutionaries, and their fake graves were created by the Kozuki clan, who are stone masons. But since Marco de Viris And Roger's base recent video, I kept thinking about Warner's connection to time. Could the Kozuki clan be stuck in a time loop, or even be a cursed clan? Twenty years keeps being mentioned. Hold'em, the headline I mentioned twenty years ago, the Kozuki clan tried to destroy Warner. Lord Odin died twenty years ago, and Nikomomushi and Inorashi fought for twenty years. Even Momonosuke met Roger, and even now, he's still a boy. But why I mention is a time loop is all due to connections on Zo. There were quotes that it's only been a few months since then, and when he even said he was young at the time when he met Roger. This has got me in the Momonosuke inherited memories of the past, and this is why he could control Zenisha. Inu and Nico said that 24 years ago, when he sailed with Roger to Raftdale. Odin was more of a kid or apprentice, like Shanks and Buggy. At that time, those two were 15 years old. Odin is therefore of a similar age. His son Momonosuke is eight years old, and this means that when Odin's castle was destroyed 20 years ago, Odin would have been around 19 years old. Odin would need to be around 11 years old when he fathered Momo, for Momo to have died at the raising of Odin Castle. Momonosuke being born at all in Roger's timeline would require Odin to have been extremely young father. Something I doubt Oda would put in.、And、this leads to another theory: What if Momonosuke was found like the Peach Boy story? Momotaro came to Earth inside a giant peach, which was found floating down a river by an old childless woman who was washing clothes there. The woman and her husband discovered the child when they tried to open the peach to eat it. The child explained that he had been sent by heaven to be their son. I don't know about you, but it reminds me of an the old theory that Momonosuke was born from the massive egg on Roger's ship, and Momonosuke is Uranus. Uranus is believed to be weather-related because of its name. The Roman god Uranus, the controller of the sky and lightning, an egg form of a weather-controlling entity, an eastern dragon. Probably in the form of a homage to Shenron in Dragon Ball. He also controlled Zenisha, like how Shirohoshi controlled the Sea Kings. Or is Marijua the Heaven, and Mamanosuke was from one of those chambers? My bro Draco said that Odin traveled with Roger to understand more about the ancient kingdom and how his son would be involved. Now going back to the graves. If all of the Kozuki clan could not have possibly died 20 years ago because Otama remembered being under the rule of the Kozuki clan, if they all died 20 years ago, then the Kozuki clan would have died with it, unless Otama is also in a time loop. This damn 20-year-old time loop, which I can't figure out. As I mentioned in my previous video, the Kozuki clan could be based on famous folklore, with all of them having famous powers. Again, hold them the headline I mentioned twenty years ago that the Kozuki clan tried to destroy Warno and that they were monsters. Do you remember an the old theory? We mentioned that in Japanese culture, the type of rope Kaido wears as a belt is called a shimenawa. It's used to donate that an area within it is important or sacred. A shimenawa. I believe to act as a ward against evil spirits, and are often set up as a groundbreaking ceremony before construction begins on a new building. They're often found at Shinto shrines. Is Kaido scared of these ghosts? But the graves do look old, maybe at least 20 years old, and this includes Momonosuke's. This is what confused me the most, made me led to Japanese stories. For example, if the person dies in a sudden or violent manner, such as a murder or suicide, if the proper rites have not been performed, 
or they are influenced by power emotions such as desire, revenge, love, jealousy, hatred or sorrow, the Raycon is thought to be transformed into a Uri, which can then bridge the gap back to the physical world. The emotion or thought need not be particularly strong or driving, and even thoughts can cause the death to become disturbed. Once a thought enters the mind of a dying person, the Uri will come back to complete the action's last thought or before returning to the cycle of reincarnation. It sounds great, right? But it could not make sense with Momo and the retainers feeling pain and hunger during Pang Hazard. And if Momo was a ghost, how would he be the next Shogun of Wano? And no, even though Rumor's grave incident was 23 years ago, I would not assume it was Moria's power. And yes, he's still alive. So it leads me back to conclude that the graves are fake, barring Odin and his wife, the other two retainers are yet to be seen. I don't think it was the Komomushi or Inorashi, but maybe Tenju Yama Hititsu. To end off, this link with Zoro and the graves remind me of this old cover page. Zoro is the only one sitting on the grave. The grave says 944. This made me believe that someone's gonna die in chapter 944. If we arrange 944 to 494, chapter 494 sees Zoro on the brink of death. We know Oda plays with numbers, like Gear 2nd and Gear 4 were on chapters with the same numbers. Is something going to happen to Zoro in One Piece chapter 944? Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Please leave your comments down below. Please click like and if you haven't, please subscribe to Flying Panda and join our Discord.